Abby has six more pencils than John. And I'm going to stop right there. Remember, take the minute 30 seconds and try, everybody. Remember, it's important that you try. And if you're going to make a mistake, make it here. And then let me take over and show you how to do it right. And if you get it right, that's even more amazing. So pause the video, give it a minute, 30 seconds, and go. So one more time. Abby has six more pencils than John, and Catherine has two less than the combined number of pencils that Abby and John have. Which of the following expresses the number of pencils Catherine has in terms of the number of pencils John has, P? All right, so here we go. Hopefully you've paused it by now. What we're gonna do is we're trying to write Catherine's pencils in terms of the ones that John has. Okay, cool. So let's just go ahead and think about this in English to start off with. So let's see what Catherine has. First and foremost, we see right over here, let me go ahead and just adjust this real quick. Catherine has two less than the combined number of pencils that Abby and John have. So what that means is, think about it like this. Kathy has two less than all of that. So that means Kathy equals two less than. Less than means you're going to have something and you're going to subtract two afterwards. Two less than whatever we're talking about. And the combined number of pencils that Abby and John have, that would be, well, Abby plus John. All right. So now our goal is to strictly write this in terms of John, because notice that Abby is nowhere near or nowhere written. So then in that case, well, John is P. So I'll go ahead and write that as P. And then we'll minus two. But the issue here is how are we going to write Abby in terms of John? Well, that's going to happen over here. Abby is six more than John. So in that sense, then, let's write it out. Abby equals John plus six, because six more than John. Since John is P, that's the same as saying P plus six. Ah, so Abby over here will turn into P plus six. And that's still added to John, which is P right there. So this is where, again, we got a little technical, but it turned out to be a semi-quick solution because now what we have to do is, well, looking at the answer choices, I have a parenthesis here, don't have one there. So also I see that I can combine some like terms. So let's go ahead and do all of that. So P and P make 2P plus 6. And now there's nothing stopping us from removing the parentheses. And 6 minus 2, well, that turns into 4. And there we go. 2P plus 4 is our answer, meaning A is the correct choice. But remember, it's all about translating the English into the math. And that's how we get the answer. So you have to understand what those keywords mean, because if not, we're going to have a bad time. So with that said, let us know uh, how we're doing in the Facebook group. Uh, if you have any questions about these problems, we would prefer that you screenshot and post in the Facebook group. That way we can answer there. So with that said, we'll see you in the next problem.